New at 515, an update on 15-year-old Grafton High School freshman Andrew Stonier. Yeah, death has come knocking at his door several times since he had a heart attack leading to operations and the loss of his leg. But Andrew keeps on fighting. And today, 10 on your side photojournalist Walter Hildebrand caught up with the family at CHKD to see how Andrew's recovering. Being a freshman in any high school can be tough, but for Grafton ninth grader Andrew Stonier, it's been a fight for survival. It definitely did not end the way that we thought it would. At the beginning, we thought just a procedure and ended up here we are. Here is Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters in Norfolk, but Andrew's story began November 28th when he had a heart attack in class. And I laid him right here on the floor. Thanks to his teacher and a school resource officer, he didn't die that day. And for over three months, Andrew has spent all his time in hospitals. While there, his heart was failing him. He lost part of his leg to poor circulation. Then there was a heart transplant on Christmas Day, not the way anyone wants to spend the holidays. But through it, there's been lots of good. Um, and I know some would say, how is that possible? But we've had a lot of good support, lots of people that have been there for us. Andrew's Grafton classmates made this commercial for a Heart Week Zumba fundraiser. A GoFundMe page was made by another student, which reached over its goal of $12,000. On Andrew's wall at CHKD, this banner signed by students and staff. To see that students have kind of taken it on as their mission to help and support, it's just been humbling. And Andrew's doctors say his outlook is good. His heart's doing great, um, and as, as long as he can get his strength back as he currently is, then um, everything looks great for him. As for Andrew, for all the support he's received, he'd like to say... Thank you for everything. Thank you. At CHKD in Norfolk, Walter Hildebrand, 10 on your side. And Andrew will need medication and therapies for the rest of his life. So if you're interested in making a donation to his GoFundMe page, we have a link and our full coverage of Andrew's story right now on Wavy.com.